We're going to test this and see how it goes. <clears throat> I'm obviously not there. And I feel bad, but I have a few things I want to let you guys know. Um, part of my, do you have something for the day kind of thing. Uh, as you know, a few weeks ago, I went to the beach um, with some friends of ours. And it's been about a year since I've been down there. And we always stay in Orange Beach, but they wanted to eat in Gulf Shores. And then in the summer, we very rarely go to the what we call the tea. It's where the highway meets the beach road right there at the hangout. We avoid that at all costs in the summer because of the traffic. But this time of year, it was December, so we could just run over there, no big deal. So as we're on our way, we go through the Gulf State Park um, area. And they were building something. I was like, good gracious, because it's like a condominium complex and all these other little buildings. No one really knew what was going on. So, I pulled it up on Google, because y'all know me so well. Of course I did. And um, read about it. It's um, research facilities, um, housing, which is really the condominium place. And there's all kinds of things that they're bringing in there. But one of the things that caught my attention as part of this master plan, is, and I'm looking at it now because it blew my mind, in one section of their master plan of 300 pages is how... Does a beach mouse and other critters cross the road? And they have devoted a lot to help the beach mouse, the red crabs, and the frogs cross the road and not get hurt. Like, legit. Let me see if you can see this. Try to work it in the wheel's office and it's kind of dark. I tested it. There we go. You can kind of see... Okay, that weird looking bridge thing is for crab. And this little tunnel thing right here is for beach mice. So they can cross the road and not get hit. They have a whole section. This is page 33 of the master plan, if any of y'all think I'm joking. Um, opening sizes are appropriate for the species. Um, tunnels are placed at 50 meter intervals for the frogs. And fencing guides the animals to the underpasses. Really? Like, y'all, like, all of this for beach mice and frogs that you can, you know, buy their legs at the store or the restaurant, you know? Uh, crab? The red crab? I mean, are they that special? I thought we ate them. I mean, I don't know. But all kinds of things devoted to helping the species. So... We were laughing about it on our drive through. It was like, oh yeah, they're helping the beach mice, whatever. No big deal. Well, while we were in Gulf Shores eating, it rained a whole, whole, whole lot. No big deal. You know, we're grown women. We can handle this. When well, we were going back to Orange Beach from Gulf Shores and going back through that same area, we started hydroplaning really, really bad because there was so much water on the road. And one of our friends joked and said, oh, it's all them beach mice. They, you know, they were so worried about the beach mice that they forgot to drain the road. And we laughed because, I mean, right, you come to a standstill because there was water everywhere in that construction zone. And it got me thinking, how many times do we worry about the beach mice? Do we chase after the rabbits or the frogs and make sure they're okay that we forget about something else like drainage? I mean, obviously it's going to rain. Like, you got to drain the roads. You forgot about the rain. I mean, you can't stop the rain. But you're going to do underground netting to get these special critters, varmints is what I think of them as, to cross under the road. To the point, I mean, what good is it going to do when your cars are hydroplaning and killing them anyway? You know? How many times do we chase rabbits? Do we chase them? We try to get them to go here, do the mice, or get so caught up in this little bitty thing that seriously doesn't really matter. Um, Jennifer should be called um, Jacqueline's Rabbit Killer because I'm really bad about chasing a rabbit or spinning my tires sometimes on things when I just need to stop, walk away, and go back instead of keep trying, keep trying to get my mice to go a certain way when the rain's coming. I gotta come over here and fix my drainage, you know what I'm saying? Um, so anyway, let me encourage you, especially this week as we're picking up on the tax side especially, that um, don't, chase your, don't, don't chase your rabbits. Don't try to get your mice to go too much and forget 
that the rain's coming. Because we need to fix all the feather stuff first before we keep spinning our tires. I hope you guys have a good day. See y'all tomorrow.